Hi everyone, it's me Darlene with an early morning video. Incredibly early for me. I am here to tell you about some of the fabric that I have up for grabs and here's what I'm going to cover. A quilt kit that I have, batiks, and my new little store on my blog. I love eBay. I will always be with eBay. I use them mainly for penny auctions or whatever auctions I have. But I do also put some stuff there that just sits there. And I will still be doing that too because it's like a babysitter. For things that don't sell out really quick, I can just leave them there. And I don't have to like, you know, watch, did it sell or whatever. I get notices and all that stuff. But for things that sell quicker, I have started a little space on my blog for you guys. Um, not for exclusive shoppers. They have their own space. But for non-exclusive shoppers, I have a space on my blog for things that I want to promote and sell. And um, so that's what I've done. And I will uh, explain to you that in a second. Then I'm going to show you some fantastic florals that I got that you can order. That's in that little blog store. And last but not least, what else is on the list? Oh, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the gray quilt kit that's on the way. Now I told you that one would be next, but it's taking me a long time. I can't I can't just work on just that because I'd have no time to do anything else. I have to cut a lot of strips and then those strips have to be cut into squares and I'm not even done cutting strips yet, but you know, we'll see soon. And um okay, that's it. So, the quilt kit for the batiks. These batiks are awesome. They're Como batiks. I get them through Choice Fabrics. That's one of their lines. And I had purchased 10 bolts. Two of them were short bolts, so those are gone. I had eight left, eight different prints left, and some of those were shorter than others, so I did what I could. I used up all of the rest of those bolts except for some remnants and I was able to come up with 20 kits. Now I put these up last night and 12 of them have already sold so you have to hurry. You have to hurry and go and get one if you want one. I will have more batiks down the road but I don't have any on hand at all right now. So this is the kit and these are the colors and they're super cool. I do want to let you know, in case you're not familiar with batiks, first of all, they're awesome. They're very easy to put together. There's literally no fraying at all. You can sew right up to the salvage if you want, because see, their salvages are like barely there. It's just like regular fabric, so you can just use the salvages if you want. But these are wax resist. That's how they dye them. And you will find wax on these. Now, I had one print. I think it was one of these lighter ones that I was like, what's that big shit stain on there? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's the wax. And I say shit stain because it's kind of brown. You'd think wax would be like white or something. But no, this is... um you know, a very a rustic way of dyeing fabric. And if you see wax, sometimes it can be just one little speck. Sometimes it can be a pretty big piece of wax. You just scrape it off with your thumbnail or whatever. It will eventually all just fall out in the wash. And sometimes you'll even see the coloring in the fabric from the wax and that goes away too so it's all good just don't think it's dirty fabric it's just it's just the wax that got left behind i don't see a lot of it but i did on one particular bolt i saw some spots of wax all right so um this is the deal again strip quilt for this one because i'm I can pump these out quicker than I can squares and I will have the link down below to the store and then in the store you can click on this listing and it will give you all the sizes of all the strips. Some um, have a little bit more presence than others because of the fact that there was more on those bolts and I think the finished size of this one is going to be like 44 by um, something like 60. You can keep it that width or you know just some of the strips are wider than others so you will have to do some trimming but you can use the salvages honestly you can if you want it a little longer or a little bigger you are welcome to buy fabric to use as sashing or even additional squares or strips or whatever you want to do um 
And you can use regular quilt cotton with these. You can mix that. You're allowed. You're allowed. I'm telling you, you're allowed to do that. So, I don't know. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about this. You will go see it. And uh, they're all cut, so they're ready to go. These florals that I pre-ordered from Choice Fabrics, uh, I think it's just Choice Fabric. Is it Fabrics? I don't know. I should know this. Um, I pre-ordered these. I believe it was at, like maybe end of November or December, and they finally came in in uh, this month, February. It is the same print as far as I can see. It looks a little bit different because of the different colors, but I have nine. This isn't nine, so it's this plus this. I have nine different colors. I just think this would make such an awesome quilt with big squares and sash them, add borders, whatever you want to do. you got to have to decide which color you would want to go with it, but they're just awesome. Look! Look at that. I'll just show them to you quickly. There's this and this. How about I do this? This. 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 My favorite. My very favorite. This. This. Do I have to say this every time? Now this might look like, you know, like you just saw it, but they're different. They really are. They're different shades of blue. And the pink. Right now I'm selling these as nine one-yard cuts or nine half-yard cuts. I don't sell anything like just this color by the yard. I like to keep my bolts going down evenly if possible. These are all brand new bolts, so uh, there's you know, the same amount on each bolt. So again, you can go order uh, half yard cuts or the one yard cuts. You will be seeing these in other cuts at some point, especially the exclusive shoppers and maybe a quilt kit after I'm done with the gray or if the gray is taking me forever, I can do a strip quilt with those. Okay, the grays, love, love, love the grays so much. And I wanted something scrappy for this one. And I ended up going with a block that I already made. I'll link to that down below. I better to write that down. Okay, link to block. I'm doing it a little bit different than you'll see in the video. But what it is, is uh, eight inch squares. An eight inch square. Each block has one eight inch square. Two bricks, which are four by eight. And in the video, I used a third brick and cut it in half. But I'm not going to make you do any cutting. So instead of, you know, you cutting a four by eight into two four inch squares, I'm just giving you the four inch squares in each block. I ended up pulling 24 different grays. Some have bits of color and I was going to skip those but then I decided I wanted them in there. There's enough that have some colors that I think is just going to add just that much more to that quilt. So all you're going to have to do for each block is so you know four pre-cut squares rectangles together and I think I have it set up for four across six down something like that. Um, again we'll get there. So I'm going to show you the colors. These are some of the strips that I cut. Look, look at that. And I love that there's some unusual things, like there's some paper clips and, you know, I'm not going to show them all to you, but, you know, you have some just subtle things. You have some fun things. I love these guys so much because they're so light, but yet they're all gray. Oh, they're just so pretty. And then here's some of the colored ones, like that one has some little pinks in it. This one has some, like, little bit of brown in it. Oh, this one, too. I love these fabrics so much. Now, these are various manufacturers. These come from my supplier where I can order um, cuts, but I don't get to really see the prints. He did send me more prints, but they just didn't work with this. Ugh. See, this one has a little bit of color. Look at this one. Oh, just trying to show you. Okay, so there's a stack. So I believe these are all 24 of the prints. And 
I'm going to try to have that up for you as soon as possible. What else do I want to tell you? Anything? Oh yeah, if you don't want to miss out on stuff, I have a Facebook group. I need to change the name of that group. It's called Peanut Gallery. A hundred years ago, I used to eat tons and tons of peanuts, and I had a very rowdy crowd, but with comments off, nobody's rowdy. Some still are, and I haven't eaten peanuts in, what, four and a half years, so, <laughs> so it's not a a good name for me anymore and um but you can go join that group comments are off in there so it's not a chatty place and there's also zero drama because the only drama queen in there would be me but i have nothing to be dramatic about when there's no comments and i post everything that i do in there so if you're a facebook kind of person you can go there and you won't miss anything the other thing you can do is subscribe to my blog. There is a subscription box on the sidebar, but you have to enter a valid email and you have to go to that email and verify the email or you won't get my daily uh, email. One email per day with anything that I posted. If I didn't post anything during one 24-hour period, you're not going to get an email. I think that is it, you guys. I'm going to go send you to my blog. Now, my blog is DarleneMichaud.com. I currently have a thing up top on the right sidebar. I believe it's the right sidebar that says Darlene's Fabric Store or something like that. You can click there and go see what I have. I will be adding exclusive sale leftovers to that as time permits okay i appreciate all the orders i get you guys blow my mind with how many of you buy so much fabric i just hope i'm not contributing to like some kind of hoarding you know i hope you guys are using the fabric that you get because i'm certainly not <laughs> But I'm trying not to hoard because it's all for you guys. I'm not buying anything for myself. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye. And I forgot. The link is also in the description box below this video. The link to my new little store. So you can go get the fabric that way.